Hello, how are you? Hopefully you're doing well. Welcome to another episode of the Flawless Bag Series. This one is called the Throwback Edition. I'm gonna be talking about the products that I used to do my makeup about eight years ago. I know it's a long time and obviously I haven't had those products for eight years. These are recent, but the ones that I used to use eight years ago. Um, so we're gonna go over them. Hopefully you guys will like some of the tidbits that I'm gonna share with you. It's actually I used on my face. I did a tutorial on my Flawless with Amina Facebook group using those products and here's the you know turnout of it. I actually also posted a tutorial on this YouTube channel, so you can definitely check that out if you want. And y'all, this eye look, so I, blue is my favorite color, so back in the day, I was all about like the black eyeshadow with, you know, light blue turquoise eye, and I'm still, I actually love it. I feel like I have to do it more often. <laughs> so when I first started doing makeup, like, you know, over 10 years ago, I had very little of anything, and it's crazy when you see my collection now. His picture of my vanity just, you know, three years ago. I had barely any products. So the first thing that was in my primer bag, you know, six plus years ago was my Rimmel Stay Matte Primer. This is the first primer I ever used. I was in Boots, actually, in Birmingham, England, and I was like, oh, so this is a new makeup thing. I was trying to get into makeup more, so I grabbed it, and I wasn't really sure what it was supposed to do. I just knew that primer is something that you should use so I just started using it and I liked how my makeup looks I just kept it and I yeah this is my the first primer I ever used I haven't used this primer in over two years I started doing unique and I like my unique primer and now I kind of use the Becca primer but yes this was my primer two years ago not two years ago sorry this is my primer <laughs> over five years ago the next nice from the foundation are with two options these were the Maybelline dream matte mousse and then the liquid mousse so I first just used the Dream Matte Mousse and I started using it because my sister's friend had it one day we were getting ready and I tried it and I liked it. So I put it on, I liked it and then I would set it with my Milani Powder Foundation, which I actually still like this powder foundation. It's actually a really nice pressed powder foundation. But you all, this shade is not my perfect shade at all. But hey, that's what we have to work with back in the day before, you know, Fenty and all these brands to come up the darkest shades, we have to compromise. But okay, so the Dream Matte Mousse, I like it. Again, I'm using it now, and because it's a matte and it's a mousse, it just dries so effortlessly. Like, there's no creasing. It just, like, I have no concealer on, you guys. I have no concealer, no color corrector, and it gave me great coverage. So this was that. And after, like, about two years of using this, I started, I finally grabbed the Liquid Mousse, and this is when, like, my makeup game stepped up. This is when I kind of got really into it and was like, I'm, like, rocking the makeup thing. And that was the Liquid Mousse Foundation. I didn't use that today. I decided to use this instead, but they honestly are pretty much equal to each other depending on what you like. If you want quick dry, I would go for this. If you want beautiful, I would kind of go for this a little bit, but you can still also build with this. This is a lot less cakey. So if you're going to use concealer, I would go with this. If you're not going to use concealer, I would go with this. But then after I would put on this foundation, I would then set it with my Milani Powder Foundation. And again, this was before I even knew what setting makeup was. I just tried it once and I was like, oh, it looks nice. So I just always did it. And it's crazy how like, I guess, natural instinct turned out to be what you're supposed to do with makeup. But yes, yeah, so I would just put this all around my face. And yeah, that was my Milani Powder Foundation. Like, again, I still like it. I haven't used it in a long time, but now that I use it, I'm like, I gotta start using these products more often. And then the next thing that I used to use was this Dream Wonder Maybelline. I used to use a lot of Maybelline stuff. I didn't realize it until now going over this stuff. But so this is a couple shades lighter than me. And what I would do, I would put some on my cheeks, under my nose, and my forehead. So essentially, I was like highlighting and contouring. Well, highlighting before I even knew what highlighting and contouring was. I, again, I did it one day and like I was like, this picture looks good. So I just kept doing it. Again, not knowing what was happening. I guess now I know that's because, you know, when the light hits you in certain areas and the shadows, I know how all that works. But back then, I had no idea what why it looked good. I just knew it would look good. I needed my cheeks pop even more. Y'all know I love my cheekbones <laughs> popping. And so I would always do it. And now, fast forward all these years, it's like a thing. And I still love it. But So I would just put this on, no concealer under it or anything. And you guys, it still kind of highlights it really well. So that was that. And for my lashes, I would use this Maybelline Gray Lash Mascara. Another purchase that I pretty much picked up from a friend, literally like, a lot of my early makeup things were because I, a friend let me use theirs and I was like, oh, this looks nice. But my best friend when I was in high school and boarding school used to use this and I used it once and it looked good and I just would just buy it. But to go to mascara and you, I mean, you can tell, but I, it looks pretty nice. I'm gonna do a little bit of zoom in a little bit for you guys and it looks really good. And then for my lips, I would use this Italia lip liner that I got from Amazon for a pack of, I don't remember how many came in the pack, 
but it was probably less than like $15 total. So I would line my lips and then I would take my eyeshadow and put black eyeshadow around my lips. And then I would put this LA Girl Glaze Lip Paint. This was my go-to when it came to colored lipsticks. Um, I used to use just like the Maybelline, what's it, baby lips for a while. Then I started using colored lipsticks in around 2014, 2013. And the LA Girl Lip Glaze Lip Paint was what I would, was my go-to, and yeah, they were so pigmented. I felt like I was like the thing when I would wear these, where there was a purple one, pink. I felt like I was just like on top of the world. So I would wear this, and I would put eyeshadow on top of it to make it a bit more matte. This was before like matte, I you know you could buy matte lipsticks, so I would always do that to kind of downplay it a little bit because I mean, dark skin girl, purple lipstick, like you look back then, like color lipsticks weren't really a big thing, so I felt like I was just like drawing too much attention on the hot mess. So I would put um, eyeshadow on my lips to kind of dampen it a little bit and, you know, make it less like va va boom and out there. va va boom is actually the shade of <laughs> a purple matte lipstick in the LA Girl line now that I think about it. But yes, yeah, so I would put that on and that was like my lips. And then for my eyeshadow, you guys, so this, I have two palettes and they're both from Shady Cosmetics. And I bought this one, not this exact one, but I bought my first one of this brand in 2011 when I was headed to Oman for six months and I was kind of getting into makeup. And it was this like, set this color here. And I was so excited because there were so many colors. I was like, oh my goodness, I have all this makeup. Like, I'm so cool. And you guys, like I used, so I used this blue and this black on my eye. And it's and there was no concealer base, there was no primer base, there was no setting spray, and it's actually very well pigmented. You can't see the blue as much because I kind of covered it up with the black, but they were so well pigmented. I was actually surprised, and I kind of felt like I should use it more. I feel like this would be a lot chalky just because there's so many quality makeup products out now that are supposed to be really expensive and really great that are they're very chalky, not pigmented. So I expected this to be like lower, and it actually works really well. This is a testament so you can get good quality products for not that much money. And I don't remember how much this cost, but again, it was probably more than, I mean, less than $20. And this is the Shiny Cosmetics. Bought it from Amazon. And then my other palette was this, again, this other Shiny Cosmetics palette. Again, so many colors. I This broke um, traveling because airlines just like order suitcases around, which is why all my makeup now goes in my carry on whenever I travel anywhere. But yeah, so this palette, look at all these colors. They're so pigmented. I feel like I'm going to use this for my next makeup look. Just like, yeah, I thought I was it, y'all, when I had this palette. And now my collection is like crazy. But overall, I mean, all of these products probably together cost less than $50. And I mean, I just bought a $50 foundation the other day, the Dior Backstage Foundation from Sephora in um, Yaz Island. So it's crazy that like I had an entire makeup look for less than that a few years back. And then for brushes, so I actually used to use the Shaney brushes, but I got rid of them um, about a year and a half ago, just because they were honestly, they were falling apart. I was kind of just keeping them because I didn't want to waste them, but I hadn't used them in a long time, so I got rid of them. But for this look, I used these BH Cosmetics um, brushes. And honestly, I use, I picked these ones today because quality-wise, they were on par with the Shaney ones, and they did okay. It was kind of weird because I felt like I was running out of brushes because I'm so used to using like a brush for every, a new brush for every little detail now with my makeup that I didn't I didn't have that many brushes to do that today. But I also didn't have as many items to put on my face. But yeah, so this is a complete look. And honestly, I really like this. I was kind of expecting the worst to be honest because it's been a while since I've used some of these products and I've gotten so used.